All right, everyone. Welcome into a special uh, little crossover episode here today. Um, I'm Owen <laughs> Kreps, and I'm joined by Mason, a.k.a. Blues Fan Reacts, and we're going to go over the top 10 Pittsburgh Penguins slash St. Louis Blues, players that have played for both franchises. Mason, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing pretty okay. First cameo here on the Owen Cripps yeah. YouTube channel. When you make it big... I'm going to be showing this video to everyone and say, you know what? I knew this kid when he well, just no, had two, when he just hit 200. I knew this kid. Yeah, basically what we did um, was, I, at least what I did, was I went through all the Penguins, you know, <laughs> rosters over the ages, and I tried to find 10 players that have played for both the Blues and for the Penguins. And I might start to make this uh, a repetitive uh, segment on the channel um, with other, you know, YouTubers from different teams. But today we're starting with the Blues. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go over 10 picks that we have for the best Blues Penguins of all time. Um, I just want to say there's no, like, list for, like, players. You can't, like, filter by players on who is playing. Yes, it pissed exactly. us both off so much because yeah. we wasted so Trying much to find time. This, yeah. <laughs> what I did was I literally went through my hockey card collection. I'm like, okay, he's good. Did he play for the Blues? And, and type thing. <laughs> It'll tell you right on the back. There we go. That's yeah, what I, I just used hockey reference and, you know, trade history. That's what, is what I used. So I obviously missed a few big ones, you know, just because, you know, I most of these players were direct trades in between these two teams. So mm -hmm. that's how I knew. But real quick, before we get started, I actually have an honorable mention since he never technically played for the Blues, but he did play for the Penguins and he technically won a Stanley Cup with the Blues. Joe Vitale, he is the... <laughs> isn't he the uh, the color analyst for like the blues TV or something like that. For the radio. And, yeah, he's the radio analyst. He was brand new in 2019 when they actually won the cup. Wow. So yeah, yeah no, he, I he, love Joe Vitale. I love him. All yes, right. Did. So Good for him. Well, let's get started here. I'll uh do my my number 10 pick here first. Sure. Um, and that is Brent Johnson, uh backup goaltender, longtime backup goaltender for Marc Andre Fleury. Infamously fought Rick Di Pietro and knocked him out. Um Oh, that's him? him? That's Brent Johnson, yeah. <laughs> I remember him. Okay, I was confused. I didn't know that name, but all right. He played for the Blues in, from 1998 to 2004, and then he came to Pittsburgh in 2009 to 2012. So, I don't know. Backup goaltender, really not much to write home about. I mean. Uh, so, okay, my number 10 is Ian Cole. Oh, God, why didn't I pop? I didn't pop. Yeah, <laughs> Ian Cole, the, the, the great franchise defenseman that was supposed to be, you know, the, the Blues' number one guy for years and just didn't he's, quite pan out that way, but he still had a good career. You know, he played he did, from yeah. 2010. He's one, those, yeah. he's one of those players that reminds me of Eric Johnson. High draft yeah. pick. Didn't pan out as a high draft pick, but he didn't have a bad career by any means. He's Not solid. at all. No, and actually, it's still going on. He's with Minnesota right now, and he's still he's having a good he's having a good uh, couple of years lately. But uh, yeah, he's um, also notable for playing with uh, not just St. Louis and Pittsburgh, but Colorado, Columbus, and Minnesota. I didn't even know he was in Columbus. Like that was something that really yeah. shocked me. Uh, but with St. Louis, he uh, he played five seasons, nine goals, twenty two assists, thirty one points. That's not in the snot. That's not in the frown at. You know, that's that's a that's a solid guy. One hundred sixty seven penalty. Uh, excuse me, one hundred sixty seven games played, plus forty. Um, I have kind of a more recent player, but not as recent as Ian Cole for my number nine, and that's Lee Stepniak, who was a journeyman NHLer, mm -hmm. most famously with the Blues, though. He, he only played 21 games with the Penguins. He played on Crosby's line with Brian Gibbons, Sidney Crosby, and Lee Stepniak. It was, it was an interesting line. Penguins, you know, didn't really have any top six wingers, and then they got a guy named Phil. Um, there we go. 11 points in 21 games. Really, you know, eliminated in the, either the first or second round that year. Journeyman NHL. Or, dang, he's played for a lot of teams. But most, yeah. famously, most famously the Blues, though. Right, right. And we're proud to get rid of We were happy to get rid of him because it meant bringing in uh, – I think we got him for Carl Gunnarsson. So I'm happy about that. You know, Gunnarsson's had a pretty solid career with us, yeah. so I'm happy about that. Number nine, how about Ryan Reeves? That's my number eight. So, oh, yeah. that guy. Yeah, well, Lee Stepniak's my number three. So oh, yeah. we got the same guys there. But, no, Ryan Reeves, 2010 to present, just like uh, just like the guy right before, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ian Cole. But – uh, you know, 
only other team he's played for is Vegas. You know, it's been pretty strictly Vegas, you know, from now on. But, you know, obviously the bulk of his career with uh, St. Louis and Vegas had a cup of tea in Pittsburgh where uh, where we got Oscar Sundquist and Clem Costin back. Thank you very much. Yeah. He is coming oh, to the Blues, that Mr. Clem Costin, and he's going to be – he just fresh off of a Gagarin Cup in the KHL. Huh. He's going to be an absolute – Absolutely amazing, and I do appreciate. Th- just thank you very much for that. I, you know that, I, yeah. So, uh, but anyway, yeah. So we played seven seasons with St. Louis: twenty-seven goals, twenty-four assists, fifty-one points. But Ryan Reeves not a scorer. All right, he's a hitter. He's a penalty. He's a guy who pisses you off. That's his only role on the ice, and it shows with his nine hundred and thirty-seven career penalty minutes. So, so it's not like you know. Obviously, he's not brought on for his scoring, but yeah. you know, 419 games played with St. Louis, that's not bad. 58 games played with Pittsburgh, that's not bad. 84 penalty minutes with Pittsburgh, that's mm-hmm. not bad at all. But um, as a mm-hmm. read, my number eight was Reeves, and my number seven is Sunquist. Wasted potential in Pittsburgh. Third round pick. Penguins infamously have great third round picks: Jake Gensel, Matt Murray, Brian mm-hmm. Rust. Crystal Tang, all third round picks. I cannot Oscar believe Sundquist, it. Oscar Sundquist, yeah. Oscar Sundquist is not a Stanley Cup champion. He's a two time Stanley Cup champion. Oh, yeah. He has his name on the 2016 Cup because he played enough regular season games with the Penguins. And then, of course, 2019 with the Blues. Really, the only thing I have to say about him is that he never should have been traded. And man, he's really a piece that the Penguins would, would love to have back. How old is mm-hmm. he? He's 27. He's, 27, he's over my yes. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, he's got. He did just get a knee injury. Who he's out for the season. Uh, number eight, and I'm sure you have him on your list. Uh, Canadians GM Mark Bergevin. I do not have him on my list. Uh, you know, I, I, so my a lot of my thinking it, during this is like not necessarily having the, not a lot of these players had a like big chunk with the Blues or the Penguins, but mm. he played for both, and so he's obviously a worth worthy. Yeah. Man you know, be put in a video, but you know, a, a long career, you know, 20 years career, mm-hmm. uh, you know, 181 points, 1090 penalty minutes and just under 1200 games played. Uh, my next one is another recent one and another 2019 Stanley cup champion, Robert Bertuzzo. Really? Um, a lot of, yeah. Robert Bertuzzo drafted third over or third mm-hmm. round 78th overall 2007 with the penguins. Mm-hmm. That was the the age where the Penguins had a lot of young defensemen that could potentially step up. Uh, Oli Mata, Derek Pouliot, um, you know, uh, Robert Bertuzzo, Simone Dupre, and like none of them panned out except for maybe Mata, who I mean didn't mm-hmm. pan out. Um, and Bertuzzo was traded for Ian Cole, which we mentioned uh, earlier. Mm-hmm. It was Ian Cole and or it was Bertuzzo in like a seventh for for Ian Cole or something like that. And then he went on and won a cup. And again, similar to Reeves, he's a he's a gritty player. Who did he fight in practice the year that you guys won? Zach the cup? Sanford, the guy that Blues fans are hanging on a cross right now. He'd- so uh, my number seven is a player that I'm actually surprised I'd never heard of. His name yeah. is Gordy Roberts. Oh yeah, Gord- Gordy Roberts. He played from '76 to '94, so he was, you know, a, a a good chunk of years. There we go. Yeah, good chunk of years right after, uh, you know, the uh, the expansions. Uh, in addition to playing with the uh, Penguins and the Blues, he played for the Minnesota North Stars. He played for the Hartford Whalers. Played for Boston. Played for Philadelphia, and he played for New England. Remember, yeah, they yeah. had a team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the when he New was in the England WH Whalers. Team. The New England yeah. Whalers he, to the WHA. Yeah, Gordy Roberts. Um, yeah, he's a, he was a steady defenseman for the Penguins in '91 and '92. Um, you know, back-to-back Stanley Cup champion. He's more well-renowned simply just because he won the cups. I understand mm-hmm. like where you're coming from because like he's not he's not much of a player to write home about. The one thing that I do know about Gordy Roberts is that he is a trainer nowadays, and he trains a lot of players on the Penguins. And he's like infamously like the the trainer that you go to in the off season that mm-hmm. he'll put you into shape. Like Crosby went to him when he oh, was yeah. like a rookie, and like he came out with tree trunks like for uh, for legs because he he works you hard. Um, there we yeah. go. It's, yeah, yeah. I have him, I have to... him on mine as, as well. I have another uh, mid nineties, also what ninety one, ninety two Stanley Cup champion Scott Young. Um, I really oh, know about him. Um, 
but I know he's you know he's a depth player on the Penguins mm-hmm. in ninety one ninety two. Looks like he played for the Blues in ninety eight. Mm-hmm. From ninety eight to two thousand and six, he had a brief stint with the Stars there from 02 to oh four, but then he went back to St Louis. Played five years in St Louis, only one year in Pittsburgh. So I so he's not a nineteen ninety one Stanley Cup champion. He is a nineteen. He is a ninety one Stanley Cup champion. So he's not a ninety two Stanley Cup champion. Where's his other mm-hmm. cup? Dallas in 04, looks like. So, yeah, I depth player, played for both the Blues and the Penguins. All right. Well, hey, let's go back to the 70s one more time, and uh, let's look at a guy, a little-known guy named Bob Stewart. Now, he didn't have a huge, you know, super long career. You know, he played for St. Louis and Pittsburgh, obviously, but he mostly played for the Cleveland Barons. Yep. And the Boston Bruins, you know, that's where the big chunk of his career went. But, you know, one thing worthy to mention, he was an all-star, 76-77. He was an NHL all-star. He finished his career with a minus 257. So... <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, my next uh, player um, is a Stanley Cup champion again with the Blues again. Um, and he's a journeyman. I would say he was a journeyman. He went, you know, back and forth. He had a brief stint with Anaheim, played in Edmonton. And that's David Perron. Um, also, you know, brief stint in Pittsburgh. He's with St. Louis. How many times has he went to St. Louis, left, came back, left, came Three back? Three times. That's ridiculous. Three times. So he, he was he was drafted by the Blues, played for six years. Uh, then he was traded to Edmonton. And then from Edmonton, he was traded somewhere. I don't even know. And then he came back as a free agent, taken by Vegas in the expansion draft. And then right after that cup run, went back to St. Louis 2019, won a Stanley Cup, is staying in St. Louis. All right, if he gets picked by Seattle, I'm rioting. All right, I'm th- I'm tipping cars. I'm yeah. looting police. Th- I'm do- I'm doing all that crap, man. I'm not I'm not going to tolerate that. He'll come back though. He'll come back the next year. Yeah, ten he years with St. Louis over three separate stints. Incredible. Been in the Stanley Cup final two times with Vegas, and only played 86 games with the Penguins. Was a minus 21. Was traded for Carl Hagelin out of Anaheim, and that worked wonders for us. Ooh. Even though, uh, even though we gave up a first round pick on that trade, it was Perron and a first. Or actually, no, it, we gave up a first to get Perron. We traded Rob Klinkhammer and a first round pick to get David Perron. Edmonton flipped that pick to the Islanders. Who did they draft with that pick? If you get this, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I have you no know? idea. Matt Barzell. Ooh. <laughs> the Penguins traded the pick that ended up being Matt Barzell for David Perron, and a lot of people have been angry about it ever since. So. Yikes. Okay, one more 70s player, and then we'll get to, like, okay. guys that we've actually heard of. Okay, yeah, this is a guy. Players, I have two players left, and I know you have one of them. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So one of the guys, his name is Blair Chapman. So he played force. He he only the, the reason I included him. He, he didn't have a wonderful career. He had a he had an okay career. Four hundred and two games played, which is a it's, it's a good amount for an NHL player. Uh, but he only played with St. Louis and Pittsburgh. Nobody else. So he that's why I had to include him. Pick. Wow, he's a yes. second overall draft pick in the seventy six. Yes. Draft. All right, my next pick is a Stanley Cup champion, but not with the 2019 Blues, the 2009 Penguins, and 1995 Devils, one of the Devils teams. And that's Bill Guerin. Played for a lot of teams, and when I was, like, researching this, I was like, uh, Bill Guerin had to play for – let's oh, double yeah. check to see if Bill Guerin played for the Blues because he's played for a ridiculous amount of teams. He's played yeah. for one, two, three, four – Five, wait, one, two, eight, three, eight, four, eight teams. eight teams. Most famously with the Devils. Did have a you know cup of coffee in Pittsburgh, even though I wouldn't consider it a cup of coffee because he worked for us in the front office after he retired. He retired in Pittsburgh after the 2009-2010 season. Won a Stanley Cup with us in 2009 after coming over at the deadline, similar to a guy like Jeff Carter, who also has playoff experience. Maybe that could happen this year. My last pick is the only confirmed Hockey Hall of Famer we have, unless your number one is as well. No, and, that's no. <laughs> Joe, and that's Joe Mullen. Joe Mullen, back-to-back Stanley Cup winner with the Penguins, also won a Stanley Cup in 89 with the Calgary Flames, moved on, or actually started his career in St. Louis, 
went to Calgary, went to Pittsburgh, finished it out in Boston. Hockey Hall of Famer, two-time Lady Bing winger, winner, uh, three-time Cup winner, Hall of Famer, and an NHL All-Star. Incredible numbers throughout his career. As a literally his his points point totals one thousand and sixty three. He played one thousand and sixty two games played. So oh, over a thousand games played and over a thousand points. Joe Mullen, not the biggest name with the Penguins in ninety one ninety two because you had Francis Trottier, Lemieux, Yager, but Mullen was definitely a huge addition to that team. Um, playing you know in the in the third and uh, second and third line and you know. Great player, Penguin legend, and arguably a blues legend as well. Yeah, I've never heard of him. <laughs> like it's like I'm sorry, oh, I, I've literally never heard of him before. So this really is a, Joe Mullen is a whole Joe new Mullen. thing. Didn't nope, never even heard of him. He did win a cup with St. Louis. That's why I don't know him. But exactly. and he wasn't Bright Hulk. So there we go. Yeah. Uh so my number one is a blues fan favorite, Chris Thorburn. Okay. You know, I had to include him. Yes, he only played, you know. 39 games with Pittsburgh and had a nice 69 penalty minutes, you know, in that, in that, uh, in that season. But, you know, he was brought on to St. Louis, not really for any other reason other than, you know, the fans loved him. You know, he wanted a place to, you know, have, have a, have an okay stint at the end of his career. Uh, you know, he played 51 games for us, 60 penalty minutes. He's got uh, one goal, six assists for seven points, but he wasn't brought on for score. He was brought on to, you know, muck shit up in his last year. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, so, yeah. absolutely. Those are those are our 2019, however, however many we had combined there, uh, picks for um, the Penguins, Blues, Blues, whatever you want to call them, with uh, the you know crossover team thing. Right. Um, once again, I'm going to try and make this a series uh, with other content creators from other teams. Um, maybe I'll do a Steve Dangle one. And see if he, can, I'll hit him up. See if he'll he'll join me. Thanks, Mason, yeah. for joining. If you haven't already, check out Blues Fan Reacts. He does a video. After every Blues game, um, also, you know, news and notes with the Blues. Having an interesting season right now. Um, have you guys clinched yet, or are you nope. still fighting with uh, two more win, Two more wins, and we'll clinch. Yeah, no worries. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you don't like my opinions, well, too bad. These are my own opinions as well as my his Mason opinions, which doesn't sound, you know, that doesn't roll off the tongue that well. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Go check out Mason's channel, Blues Fan Reacts. We'll see you guys all in the next video on my channel and on his uh, for Blues Fan Reacts.